for sticking with us. We are continuing our workout. We just trained our shoulders. Now we're moving on to the biceps and later our triceps. Starting with the bicep dumbbell curl. You know, Jennifer, a lot of women are under the impression that you get big muscles when you work your biceps. Mm -hmm. And actually, it's not true. To get a total workout, you should work the front and the back, and you get a nice tone, and you look great. What do you think, Kiana, right? Eight. <laughs> No, 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 definitely. You need to complement each other right. so you don't have an imbalance within your body part. And that's right. Twelve. All, All right. right. Fifteen. What do I see? You want to go? <laughs> do you want me to go? You know what? I'll alternate. So that is true what you were talking about, oh. Mary Jean. It's important, like in everything, you don't want to overwork or overstress yourself. We don't want to overtrain either, so make sure and work all your body parts separately so you're balanced and symmetrical. And you don't, like Jennifer, you don't have to use extremely hard weights. You know, you can go lighter. That's right. And notice here what Jennifer's doing, which is great. She's supinating her wrist. I'm supinated or turning. Supinating. <laughs> supinating. Which further accents to peak the bicep. Look great. Look at her arms. And if you notice, she's keeping her back straight, and she's just using her arms. That's so right. She's not using her body. That's right. An important point here is Jennifer is keeping her elbows tight into her body. For those of you at home just starting, if you're sitting down watching us right now, put down your sandwich or your breakfast cereal, and just try it. You don't even need to use any weight. Just try this movement. My stomach just growled when you said that about the sandwich. Oatmeal with raisins. Yeah. Yeah. Cheeseburger. <laughs> okay, and there we go. I did a little extra than you did because okay. I was only using one arm at one time. I'll try. Now for the biceps, we recommend, since it is a smaller muscle, to train be with between six to eight total sets. Ten to twelve repetitions. And I'm going to do alternating, and I'm just going to turn out the Mary dumbbell Jean? a little more. If I, can I make a suggestion? Sure. Notice your elbow's coming out? Yes. Your elbow should be next to your Stay body. There. Your body. Perfect. I'm glad, I'm glad you did that. That, yes, a picture's worth a thousand words. A thousand words, that's right. Now, when you're doing alternating, do you wait for the motion to stop and then bring up the next arm, or is it a continuous movement? I like to train with a continuous movement. That way, it's a little bit tougher. Mm -hmm. and, but the main point is, when you do start right into the next movement, notice Mary Jean is starting from a stop position. She's not letting it swing back and oh, okay. swinging it up. Whatever you prefer. Find what you like to do and then do that. But again, having us seated helps stop with the swinging. It's a little bit stricter. That's right. And when you keep your elbows and you feel it even more. Your arms look really good. Yeah, Sweet. I want to get that, that nice I've got shank. Me up using those I want to get weights. that nice shank. Like that. <laughs> okay, let's move on now. Now we did the uh, bicep curls with the dumbbells. Now we'll show you the barbell 